I'm Joe Flatman, uh, I'm an archaeologist from the UCL Institute of Archaeology and I work on issues of climate change. Now you hear climate change and you don't tend to think of archaeology at all. Most people think of uh, great big scientific discoveries and big challenges. And one of the problems with climate change is that it seems to be a very, very big issue that is bigger than any one person can deal with or any one community can deal with. It seems just, just intangible and undealable with. Archaeology is one of these subjects, though, which allows us to realise that climate change is something that humans can change themselves, can, can, uh, can lead to adaptations to. That we can also learn from archaeology about how to manage climate change and our lessons for the future. Down here on the Thames in central London, because the Thames is a very, very rich archaeological resource. It's a place to come and see archaeology. It's also a place to come and understand about how humans have changed over time. Uh, so it's a very, very good lesson in that way. Now, archaeology tells us two big things about climate change. First of all is increasingly that climate change is happening and it is having an impact upon societies. Again, climate change seems like a very distant problem, maybe happening to communities thousands of miles away. But here on the Thames, we've got ongoing erosion and speeding up erosion, which is undoubtedly to do with climate change. Teams from something called the Thames Discovery Programme over the last few years have been tracing archaeological remains all along the river from prehistory thousands and thousands of years ago right up to the present day. And they've discovered that the pace of erosion is happening faster than ever before. This is an exponential increase in the change of the archaeology and of the change of the whole uh, Thames waterfront. And it's mirrored by similar changes all around the coastline of Britain and all around the coastline of the world. There isn't really anywhere in the world which isn't starting to be influenced in various different ways. Now, climate change deniers will say that climate change is part of much bigger long-term processes of change. And they will also say that there isn't this tangible evidence of change. But places like the Thames show us naturally this change, it's happening here right now and it's going to get worse. What archaeology tells us is that yes, there are much bigger processes of change going on, long-term climate change, but this exponential increase, this sudden and rapid rate increase of erosion uh, is all to do with human influence change. The scale of the change, the pace of the change is so much faster than uh, it was up until recently that the only explanation for such a speeding up can be humans. There, there are no natural processes which lead us to think there could be such change. So we have this very negative lesson on the one hand. On the other hand, archaeology is a very positive subject and it also tells us a very positive lesson. And that is humans are very adaptable things. We're very, very good at dealing with change. Archaeology has shown us that people way back in the past dealt with changes to the coastlines and they survived and they prospered and their lives changed and where they lived changed, but fundamentally they carried on living. And this is the lesson that I'd like you to take away from archaeology, uh, that, that we really can deal with change, that climate change is something which we have a personal responsibility for, but it's also something that that responsibility can do. Those little steps of you deciding not to take that flight, of doing some recycling, of thinking about energy efficiency, will help change the future society and future archaeologists can come along and study how you made an influence and improve your world and your lifestyle.